This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sounds. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we will learn to create a modern and minimal slideshow animation in After Effects. We will learn everything from scratch like how to design a slide, animate it, and most importantly, I will show you how to duplicate one slide and make changes to create a complete slideshow while also staying organized with a proper folder structure. So it's going to be a tutorial filled with a lot of value. So make sure you watch it till the end. And with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'll go with 2K, so 2560 by 1440. You can, of course, go with 4K or 1080p as well. Let's call this render as our main render composition. Frame rate is set to 30 FPS and the duration is set to 10 seconds. Press OK. Then let's create another new comp. This is going to be our media placeholder. So let's call this media underscore zero one where we can drag in any image or footage that we want to use. And let's change the width and height of this to 4K, not 4K, but 3840 by 3840. That is a square and press OK. And then we can drag and drop in any image that we want. So I'm using this nice illustration. Now let's go back to our main render composition and drag the media one composition inside this press s to bring down the scale properties and let's align this with the composition so at around 67 percent looks good then i'm going to select the rectangle tool and let's set the fill to something like a gray color doesn't really matter and i'll create a shape like so let's go to rectangle one rectangle path one unlink this and let's set this to two five six zero that is the length of our comp to 800 okay and then we can just simply align this into the center if you don't see this align tab you can go into windows and there you'll find it just just make sure that this is checked i'll rename this to mask then select the media one layer and change the track mat of this to alpha mat if you don't see the track mat option you can click on toggle switches and that should make it visible now let's animate our media so i'll go at around two seconds press p to bring down the position and create a keyframe press s to bring down the scale property and create a keyframe press u so we can see all the keyframes go back and let's drag this out like so and then scale it to 100 percent and drag this a bit more like so so now we have something like this a pretty simple animation now let's place the time indicator at two seconds, select the mask layer, go into the size properties, create a keyframe on the size. And then let's go to four seconds and let's set this to 1000 by 1000. All right. And we will also animate the scale of our media composition. So let's bring that down. So somewhere around there looks good. So now we have something like this pretty cool let's add some nice background to this so press ctrl y to create a new solid i'll call this bg underscore zero one and i'll make this white let's place it right here and i'm going to place it somewhere around like so and then duplicate this press ctrl d select the bottom one and i'll move this right over somewhere around there let's go into effects and presets and search for fill effect double click to apply that and I'll pick up a nice color from this particular scene. So this looks pretty nice. And then what I'm going to do is right click and create a new null object called this control. And then parent the mask and the media composition to this null. And then we can animate this null. So I'll go to two seconds. Press P to bring down the position, create a keyframe, go to four seconds. And let's move this right over here. So now we have something like this, which looks really nice and dynamic. I think it adds a sense of parallax, I believe a little bit. So that is nice. So at two seconds, I'll select both of these background, press P to bring down the position and create a keyframe. Go back at 
zero frames and drag them out of the frame like so and this one out as well now let's select everything press u so we can see the keyframes now in order to make them a bit more interesting i will be using this free script called key keyframe wingman you can find this with animation composer which is a free plugin so after you download and install the animation composer link to which is in the description you can go into windows and there you'll find the animation composer keyframe keyframe wingman so I'll select all the keyframes and now I can tweak the keyframes graph using this one slider. So I usually like to keep it at around 85 or let's go with something like 90. I think 90 will be nice. Press enter. And now if I go into my graph editor, you can see it's already creating this nice animation graph. So this is a super useful free script. I'll set this to 90 again. And now if I preview our animation. We have this really nice and uh, cool looking keyframe animation as you can see. Now let's close everything and select the text tool and then you can type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in life of a designer. So first of all, I'll make this black so I can see it more properly. And uh, for the font, I'll go with Nexa. So maybe something like Nexa book. Okay, let's select this, press Control D to duplicate it. And let's pull this down. And this one is going to be a Nexa bold, I think. Okay, and then I can select both of these texts and align them to the left, just like so. Let's select this again, press Control D and add some more text details here. Let's select all the text and align them again. Okay, so that is looking good, but I think the background is looking a bit empty. So to make it look a bit more interesting, I'll create a new solid. So press control Y and let's call this grid. Let's go into effects and presets, search for CC Griddler. Let's apply that. And we can basically play around with the settings. And obviously we need to add some nice color to this. So I'll add a fill effect. And then select the green color that looks pretty nice I think and let's adjust the lines just the way we want I think something like this and then basically I'll just rotate them like 45 degrees now we will also animate these lines just to make them look a bit more interesting so what I'm going to do is go at the very back let's set them to minus 45 Create a keyframe on the rotation, go to two seconds, set this to plus 45. Go to four seconds, set them to 135. Go to six seconds and set them to 225. Then press U and I'll add a very simple expression here. So hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. Let's add loop out with a capital O and open and close parentheses. So it's going to keep on looping pretty nice. And then I can select the keyframes and add the same exact animation curve. So it looks very nice. I think, I think it's a bit too slow. Okay. Now let's select it. Press control shift C to pre-compose it. We can call this grid and move all attributes press ok Let, let's put this at the bottom and i'll go right here select the ellipse tool and double click to create a mask like so invert the mask and press f to bring up the feather properties and let's increase the feather like so so this helps us to add some nice uh, background pattern to our complete design now let's select the background one that is this white background press control D to duplicate it. We can call this mask again and place it on top of the grid layer or grid pattern that we have created and set the grid pattern track mat to alpha mat. So now that it reveal it get reveals along with the shape, which is nice. So now let's go ahead and finally animate our text. So I'll select this one and the creative designer this one let's select them both press p to bring down the position i'll go maybe right over here at two seconds create a keyframe and let's drag those keyframes at around four seconds then press t 
create a keyframe on, on opacity and drag them to four seconds press u now let's select them both again and drag the position like so and bring down the opacity to zero select the keyframe and apply the same animation preset and then i'll move this a couple of frames forward in time and now we have this nice animation as you can see pretty cool and let's select these two text as well let's go down three seconds hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe let's drag them to around five seconds or maybe let's drag them to four seconds and then pull them out of the frame by using the position property like so and add the same animation so there we have our text animation as well i think the text animation should appear from below the image or the media placeholder so i'll put this at the back like so so we have this nice animation as you can see and there you go our first slide is ready now in order to create multiple slideshows using this technique let's create a new folder let's call this um the zero one edit comps then create another folder zero two this is going to be a render comp and zero three will be others okay now select everything press ctrl shift c to precompose it call this scene zero one press ok then drag the scene zero one into edit comps and the media placeholder one into edit comps render into the render comp and rest everything into others so it's properly organized now let's go into edit comps and create another composition called this media placeholder and another com called the scenes make sure it's under edit comps let's drag the scene here and media here so now that we have our animation ready let's go ahead and add some nice music to this music plays a very important role in any slideshow animation now talking about good music do you know where you can find incredible music for your videos well epidemic sounds even when you have a huge library with thousands of tracks Finding the right music for your videos is always a struggle. With Epidemic Sounds, you can easily filter through different genres and even select the right mood, being very specific with the type of music you want. And the best part is that you can download separate tracks. It lets you download separate instrumentals and vocal tracks of the same song. Do keep in mind that Epidemic owns all the right to their music so you never have to worry about any copyright issues. So if you like the music I used in this video, check out the full playlist of my favorite tracks on Epidemic Sound. You can sign up for a 30 day free trial with epidemic sound by clicking on the first link in the description below so now let's go ahead and create the second scene now what i'm going to do is select the scene and duplicate this so press ctrl d to duplicate it open scene 2 and then go into media placeholder duplicate the media 1 press ctrl d and then replace the scene 2 media 1 with media 2 so hold alt and just drag and drop it and boom there you go and now we can make any changes that we want to our media. So basically we can animate the image from a different position. So right now it's animating from left to right. I can press U and let's animate it from right to left. So I'll drag this here holding shift. So now we have a different animation as you can see. and then what we can do is also change the position here so i'll go right here and uh, maybe make this move this right here okay and also i'll create a new null object i think for the text control so let's call this text control and connect all the text using the parent tool to this text control i'll select this and i'll just move this right here so we have something like this which is looking pretty nice i think we also need to change the background alignment so what i can do is um select this press u so we can see the keyframes i'll go right here and let's select both of them and drag the position like so so now we have something like this and then i will duplicate the background too this time 
press control D and let's use this as a mask for our grid. So I'll call this mask. We can actually place this right here, delete this mask and hide that. And then we can just simply change the color of the grid to a different color. So this time I'm, I'm think I'm, I'll go with an orange color. Also, let's replace the media first of all. So let's go into media two and I'll use a different image that I have here. So this one looks really cool, I think. And let's go into scene two. And what I'll do is I'll set this to white and uh, this one, I'll change the color of this. So I'll add a fill and let's use a nice orange color. So this is looking quite nice, I think. Now, all we have to do is change the text position. So I'll select these two texts first of all press U so we can see the keyframes and I'll change the alignment. I'll drag them like so. Same for these two texts. I'll select them, press U so we can see the keyframes and oh, or just press P so we can see the position keyframe. I'll close the rest of them so that we don't get confused. And then again, I'll move this a little bit forward in time. Also, I think I'll select them, press U and align them. And there we have our second slide ready to roll. So now what I can do is go into the main render comp and drag the scene to right here at maybe five seconds. I want this to start from five seconds and obviously increase the duration of the main render comp. So press control K and let's set this to something like 60 seconds. And there we have our first slide. And then we have our second slide. So this is how you can create a complete slideshow using this particular techniques. The steps may vary if your design is different, but the method will be quite similar. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, do let me know in the comments section below. And if you're watching my video for the very first time, please do consider subscribing to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. And for Photoshop quick tips, make sure to check out our new channel, Dope Motion Shorts. Link is in the description. And of course, for the best music, we have Epidemic Sounds as well. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.